Will Jagger Furcus be the next J.J. Paterka? In order to answer this question, we first need to answer the following question of who is J.J. Paterka? John Jason, a.k.a. J.J. Paterka, is a German hockey player currently playing for the Buffalo Sabres. He was drafted to Buffalo in the second round of the 2020 draft, 34th overall. In his draft season, Paterka primarily played in the DEL, the German Pro League, where he scored 7 goals and 11 points in 42 games, a pretty impressive total for a draft-eligible skater playing in a pro league. Of course, he was overshadowed by his countryman, Tim Stutzla, who also scored 7 goals but added 27 assists for 34 points in 41 DEL games. At the time, I was just getting into scouting. My analysis consisted primarily of watching international games such as the World Juniors and YouTube highlight reels. Needless to say, it was not very sophisticated. That being said, I loved JJ Paterka. I especially spent a lot of time watching him play because I thought he was the best player that could realistically fall to 31st overall, the Sharks' first pick in the 2020 draft. Although I have no notes to reference, what I remember about watching Paterka at international events was that Stutzla didn't really stand out to me as being leagues above him. They spent a lot of time playing together, as they were regularly on the same lines and power play units, and I saw them as being relatively equal in terms of skill. This is not to say I thought Tim Stutzla was overrated, in fact it was quite the opposite. My admittedly extremely amateurish eyes told me Paterka was criminally underrated. Lo and behold, Paterka has developed quite well, scoring 28 goals and 68 points in 70 AHL games last season, plus an additional 7 goals and 12 points in 10 playoff games. He also got his first taste of NHL action, playing two games for the Buffalo Sabres this season without recording a point although the team's expected goals for and actual goals for percentage were significantly higher with him on the ice, suggesting he was creating offensive chances more often than the rest of the team. Regardless, Paterka's future looks quite good. He should play the upcoming 22-23 season in the NHL. Like Paterka, Jagger Furcus is a player whom I thought was criminally underrated in his draft class. Again like Paterka, Furcus went very early in the second round, eventually being drafted by the Seattle Kraken 35th overall in the 2022 draft. Furcus was another player I wanted the Sharks to draft, but with the team having the 11th overall selection and no second rounder, I knew this was not in the cards. That is, until they traded down, acquiring the 27th, 34th, and 45th overall selections. I knew Furcus would not be available at 45, but this gave them two realistic chances to take him at 27 and 34. The Sharks also had two chances to take Paterka in 2020, with picks 31 and 34. Lo and behold, the Sharks passed on my guy again. Twice. Again. <clears throat> Furcus really stands out to me with his shot and speed. In fact, he and Paterka have quite similar frames and styles of playing hockey. Both are small wingers with great shots and good enough playmaking ability that the goalie must respect the pass, particularly in odd man situations. Obviously, Paterka has had two more years to develop, so we know more about what he will be at the NHL level than we do with Furcus. That being said though, Furcus is a player I am very confident in. Given the fact that he is already comfortable playing on NHL-sized ice, he may not need a year in the AHL either, particularly if he adds a significant amount of muscle in his last two seasons of junior eligibility. Ultimately, the futures of both players are still up in the air, but I am quite confident in both and would not surprise me at all to see each score 30 goals in the NHL. Only time will tell if Fergus is the next Paterka, but I certainly believe he will be. If you believed this video deserved a like, please do give it one, it really helps me out. Thanks for watching.